So we have been participating in degenerative systems and structures. And this is why we've been struggling. When you look at it, our financial systems are degenerative. They're based in self-interest and greed. Um, our healthcare system, to whatever degree, and I'm not talking about the doctors, I'm talking about the, the construction of the system itself, is degenerative. Look at the political system, it's degenerative, okay? So everything that we create from a place of survival or a place of fear leads to a degenerative effect or impact. And you can run this through every area of life and living, but you'll begin to see that it actually hasn't been you. It's been about the fact that you, a part of nature, has been participating in things that are foreign to you. And we can apply this to, to everything, you know, just fill in the blank. So the existing framework on the planet is that we are these emergent properties of possibility, of grace, of expansion, right? And at the same time, we as these emergent properties have been experiencing this dissonance because we've been participating in things that are degenerative. So conversely then, what's the possibility that opens up to us? Well, we're here as parts of nature, as these emergent properties and qualities, to birth regenerative systems and structures that are more aligned with nature. So just to give you a snapshot from like how we articulate it or how, or how in spirituality we label certain things, degenerative systems are based in self-interest and greed and they're born of survival. They engender the incentives that people align with in degenerative systems are self-interest and greed and they're born of survival. Okay, and you can see that. So you can see how self-interest and greed permeates pretty much the majority of the planetary infrastructure. So regenerative is systems and structures that are based in service and offering a public good, offering a benefit to our fellow human beings. Now the illusion is that the system has to be degenerative in order for it to be profitable. There has to be this self-interest and there has to be this greed innately embedded into it in order for it to be profitable. However, what's happening in the world is we're in a, in a point where we're realizing that actually we can do regenerative things. We can create regenerative businesses and lives and relationships with ourselves. And that actually we can still support ourselves and our families, but just in a way that's aligned with nature. 